Hello everybody, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. My name is Jessica, if you're new here, today is my deck of panning project pan update, as you probably already know from the title and the thumbnail. Welcome, I've got my leading lady here, she's ready to go. And I'm gonna try and do a quick and fast update today because life is crazy right now. There are trips coming up, Halloween, I'm getting the final preparations for. And I'm also looking at a kitten today that I have to drive a ways to go see. And it's just a busy time at school. Of course, I have to prepare sub plans for my upcoming trip, which takes a lot of time. If you didn't know, sub plans are a pain in the butt. I would almost rather go to work than have to write sub plans. I'm going to be talking about the five products I have been working on in this deck of panning project. This project was created by Emily, by Emily and Max here on YouTube. Thank you because it's such a great one, Emily. We love it. And I'm gonna draw a couple cards today and bring in some new items. So let's get right on into the video. The first product is from Revlon. This is their Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. And I have the shade, I can never remember it. This is the shade Addiction. It actually is what is on my lips right now. And I've really been enjoying this shade. I'm so happy that it's finally fall season, even though the weather is not giving us fall weather. It is the fall season. And I do feel like this pairs really well with a lot of fall looks. I brought this item in for the card Queen of Clubs, which is an in it for the long haul item. And my goal is to use it 30 times before the end of this year. As of last month, I had used it 18 times and I reached for it seven more times this month, making for 25 uses total. So I have five more uses to go before I reach that 30 use goal. And I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to get those five uses before the next update. But I've decided I'm going to keep this item in no matter what and just see how many uses I can get on it through the course of what's remaining of this year. And I will probably declutter it by the end of the year, but there's still a lot of juice in there and it still performs pretty well. And I'm kind of um, falling in love with her. At first I wasn't so sure. It's kind of a emollient, you know, creamy, like moussey lip color, but it lasts really well throughout the day and it doesn't transfer onto my lips or onto my Invisalign, which has been an issue lately. And it also just like leaves a nice lasting color. Even if it's not like as impactful throughout the day, it wears very well. It wears evenly and still has like a nice little stain on my lips. So if I'm not reapplying it throughout my busy day of teaching, which that can happen, I'll just like lose track of the day and all of a sudden I have crusty dusty lips that I'm walking around with which is not cute. So this one wears really well in my busy busy teaching schedule where I'm just talking 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 all day drinking water you know just trying to get through the day and survive. So I don't know I might keep it around a little bit longer. That was a long way of just explaining that but we'll see how many more uses I can get on it before the end of the year and it will be with us for the long haul. Next is the e.l.f. Bite Size Jalapeno Palette. I brought this in for the King of Diamonds, which is an affordable product, and I believe this is probably one of the most affordable makeup items in my collection. These things go for a couple bucks, and I have the goal of using every shade in here one time and hitting one pan. I think this is now the second month that I have been working on this palette. Here's what it was looking like when I first brought it in. I didn't use it a ton in that first month. Here's what it was looking like during the last update, and here's what it's looking like today. And as you can see, I still don't have a new pan on it. This pan was already existing, as you know, but I'm really working on getting pan in this dark green shade. That has been my liner and outer corner shade for a lot of different different looks and it's getting a nice little dip in there but we still are not close to pan yet I think maybe like five or six more uses I should be able to hit it it's going to stay with us for another month I'm kind of confused by how I was tracking on this palette but I do have at least the total uses on each shade so I've used this gold shade six times this one just two times I've used this green one one time so just my minimum uses it already has a pan on it so you know and then this one I used a total of nine times we're still not there yet but I think five six more uses definitely by next month I'm really hoping I should have a pan on that one and it will be rolling out but for now it's staying in for one more month and I'm just not super enthralled about this palette it you know, performs fine. I just don't really love these shades of green or the shade of gold necessarily. Like, I don't, I don't know, it's fine. I'm not gonna get rid of it right now, but I'm just like, kind of just meh about this palette. Next item came in just last month. It was for the 10 of clubs and it was for a matches shirt prompt, which I was wearing a bright red dress. So I decided to bring in a bright red lipstick. This is a bullet lipstick from Pop Beauty. I think I got it in a boxy charm once upon a time. My goal for this is to use it 10 times. I only reached for it two times in the past month. 
that's okay. I think I should be able to hit 10 uses before December 20th. Hopefully, I'm really going to try for that. I think I'm going to be decluttering this lipstick at the end of the year. It's just quite old in my collection, and I would like to have just nicer red lip products. Since I love a red lip, I want to enjoy like having the luxury of reaching for a red lip that I really, really love and appreciate and this one's just kind of like a meh like i didn't pick this out i didn't want it it bleeds actually quite badly it smears i am going to try and get eight more uses on this and then like i said move on to something greater and newer in my collection Last month, I also had the 10 of hearts, which was for a wish list item. And I was kind of having a hard time coming up with one. So I had wanted to go get a pedicure very badly. I was in desperate need of a pedicure. So instead of getting a pedicure, I decided to give myself a pedicure. And that was my wish list item. I had this little pedicure kit from Vosch, New York. It's a pumpkin spice pedicure kit. So it was a perfect time to bring it into this project and get use on this thing that's been in my collection and my inventory for far too long and I painted my nails with this kind of like forest green shade from Essie it's called off tropic and then I also brought in this foot cream to use throughout the month just to add that extra element of pampering to my feet for the month so this is a foot lotion from Dionys and it's their goat milk soul keeper and this is actually very pleasant to use it's very thick and emollient I think it has lanolin in it which is why it has like the goat on there maybe or that's just the goat milk we'll see if it has a lanolin I don't know but it has that like lanolin vibe which I really like that feel I used to work on a ranch with sheep and goats and something about that like feel and the you know when you like touch their fur if you have been around these animals then maybe you'll understand what I'm talking about but they use lanolin kind of like the oil that comes from their skin in beauty products because it's really emollient and moisturizing if you didn't know so this one is quite nice I don't think lanolin's in here but it does have goat milk but it kind of has that feel it's just very very moisturizing and I've been enjoying using it I still have a little bit left in there there's like a nice little chunk in that remaining reservoir there, but I should be able to use that in just one more application. And I'm going to overall roll out this card and say that I accomplished my goal of giving myself a pedicure and pampering my feet. I'm gonna use this one more time and it'll be empty. And we're gonna bring in a new card to replace this pedicure item. Yay. The last item is a concealer. This is from Shiseido, and this was for the King of Clubs, which was a splurge item. And this is definitely a big splurge item in my collection. This concealer goes for over $30, like 30 something dollars. And when I brought this in, I wasn't really feeling it. I hadn't used it very much. I thought the shade was a little bit off and I just wanted to get use on it because I knew how much money I spent on it and it had just been sitting in my concealer drawer being a little bit neglected for a while. So I brought this in with the goal of using it 30 times. Times. During the past month, I've reached for it 28 times. I'm only two uses away from that 30 use goal. Obviously, I use this every single day that I wore makeup this month. And I actually am so glad I brought it into this project because I've really fallen in love with it. I thought the shade was off for me. It's actually working for me quite well during this time of year. I mean, I'm still quite tan. Like, it hasn't cooled down. The sun has not really changed that much since the summer. I didn't get, like, super tan this summer. I can get very, very tan if I... I'm out in the sun. I can get very brown. But this is probably like my more pale side right now. And this works very well. And it's very nice under the eye. It doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't crease very bad. Um, it feels like lightweight, but it still has really nice coverage. And I regret to say that now I kind of love this. It's still very expensive. And I still love drugstore concealers that are much more affordable, but I'm so happy that I brought this into the project and got to know it and found that I appreciate the nice item that I spent so much money on. And I think this is gonna be living in my makeup drawer for the foreseeable future as my everyday concealer. Maybe until I finish it, we will see. Maybe I'll bring this into my project pan. What do you think? Should I pan this with all of you? I mean, I think I'm gonna go through it regardless. So maybe I'll check it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That one's gonna roll out. I still have two more uses, but I'm gonna roll it up because I know I'm gonna get those two uses and I wanna bring something else in and I'm gonna get more than two uses on this. That's for sure. So that means two items are rolling out. My pedicure kit, which I will in fact finish. I'll share the empty with you next month if you'd like. And I'm gonna roll out that concealer and I have three items staying in that in it for the long haul lipstick. This one, also another lipstick. This has eight more uses to go. Hopefully I can do that in two months. I should be able to. And then this, I should have a pan on by next month. I'm pretty confident. If 
I just reach for that green a couple more times, I should be able to get there. So let's draw a couple cards. I have my cards here ready. Let me find that Joker very quickly. And while I'm at it, you can take a look at the game board. So this is the game board that Emily has designed and she lovingly shuffles it for us on the 10th of every month so that it's refreshed. At least the numbers get shuffled, the numbered cards, but the face cards and the aces stay the same from month to month. So here is my Joker. I'm gonna just slide it into the middle there, give it a couple shuffles. And I haven't even looked at the game board yet. I'm gonna have to grab for it as soon as I draw these cards. I really have just been in a hurry. I just set up the camera and started filming. <laughs> I didn't even grab my materials, which sometimes bothers me if I don't prepare myself well enough, but everyone's just doing their best, okay, people? <laughs> All right, three times. Let's cut this deck. Those are my two cards. Okay, I've got the five of diamonds. I like all of a sudden felt this nervousness and the eight of diamonds. Great, because all of a sudden I was like, oh, am I getting the Joker? I don't know, I had this like twinge of nervousness, but we're good, Whew, we're out of the woods. Okay, five of diamonds and eight of diamonds, a girl's best friend. Let me grab my computer, see what these are, and I'm excited to pick some new items. Have the game board in front of me. I can now see that the five of diamonds is a spray, which I'm very excited about. I think I have a few options to reach for there. And then the eight of diamonds is metallic. Perfect. Probably gonna be an eyeshadow, we'll see. So I'm gonna dig through my collection and find some fun items for these prompts. I'll be right back. Hello, I'm back, I've got my items here. It's always so fun to rifle through and see what I can come up with. So for the first card, the Five of Diamonds, a spray item, I actually decided to reach for this hair product. This is from Wen. Remember Wen? Is Wen still around? It's the Sweet Almond Mint Replenishing Treatment Mist. So it's just kind of like a leave-in conditioner, basically. And this will be perfect to wear in my wavy hair that I've been rocking lately with my bedhead small talk that I'm currently panning. This is very close to being empty. There's about, let's see, there's only about this much product remaining. I can see the level right around there. So it's kind of a gimme. It's definitely a gimme. I fully admit that, but I kind of just wanted, needed a gimme, and this will help me get another empty before the year is up. So why not just give myself a little bit of a break and my hair some moisture that is always desperately craving and needing. So that's the first item. The second item was a metallic item, and I decided to reach for something that has been sitting in my drawer collecting cobwebs for far too long. It is one of my last and very few colored eyeliners. It's kind of like an olive green metallic shade. It's from L'Oreal Paris. It's the Silk Kiss Me line in the shade Green Ivy. And it is a very pretty like olivey green metallic eyeliner. And I don't know why I don't reach for this more often because I think it'll be so fun and it'll really highlight the green in my eyes and also just bring out other green tones in my makeup look if I'm wearing that green eyeshadow. So it'll pair well with that. I think I'd like my goal for this to be 20 uses. I think that's definitely doable in the next couple months. And it might be with me till December 20th, but I'm okay with that. I have a give me in here and other ones that are rolling out next month for sure. So I wanna give a good solid go on this one. 20 uses is the goal. So that's all for my update today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does mean a lot to me. And subscribe if you're new here and you wanna stick around. I love making painting content and I've been kind of delving into other things as well. I recently did an apartment tour. Thank you so much for everybody who watched it and enjoyed it and spent a lot of time getting to know me and my home. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all so much and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye.